Welcome to the Fall 2020 Commencement Ceremony. This isn't how I had hoped to be greeting you on your graduation day, and it's, it's unfortunate that we can't be together in person today. Nothing can really replace the experience of attending our in-person commencement ceremonies. However, I'm glad that we are together in spirit on such a momentous occasion. I've had the honor of presiding over commencement ceremonies at Minnesota State University Mankato since 2002. That's 19 years of watching Mavericks cross the stage and earn degrees from this fine institution. Some of you may already know that this will be my last year as president of the university. I will be retiring at the end of June. That means that you, along with the graduates later this spring, are my final class. That makes you special, but you're a special already. Even though I have not had the pleasure of meeting each of you individually, I do know that you are a special class. I know that you have worked extremely hard to get here today, and I know that you made sacrifices to get to this point. I also know that, especially over the past nine months, you've had to be flexible, nimble, and willing to think outside the box. I'm immensely proud of how all of you have adjusted to the new reality of life with COVID-19. It has not been easy for any of you, I know that, nor has it been what anyone would have expected. But I am impressed by the way our faculty, staff, and especially you, our students, have rallied to make the best of a very unfortunate situation. Everyone worked together to keep moving forward to get here today, to graduation. So I thank you for being open-minded and cooperative during this time. Now, as you prepare to take your big ideas out into the real world, I imagine that you are both excited and a little apprehensive. And I understand both emotions. This is indeed a strange time to be embarking on a new adventure. That can be frightening or it can be inspiring. I hope you choose it to be the latter. In many ways, you will be trailblazers. You will help establish the path forward in a world where what we've always done no longer works. You will have to be creative. You will have to be open to change. And you will have to think differently, critically, about how to solve problems that didn't even exist a year ago. I am confident that each of you will live up to the task at hand. And I can say that because you are Mavericks, and Mavericks are uniquely positioned to take on these challenges because Mavericks think differently. They don't take the easy way out. They're willing to do whatever is necessary to get the job done. You are Mavericks. You are part of the Mav fam, and you are ready for this. Now, it is my pleasure to introduce Interim Provost Matt Cecil. Congratulations to all the graduates, families, and friends tuning into this virtual commencement. My name is Matt Cecil and I serve as Interim Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs. In my role, I oversee the academic part of the university, departments and programs, and more importantly, the staff and faculty who deliver higher education on our campus. The most direct message that I can send you on this special day on behalf of the hundreds of dedicated faculty and staff of our university is this. We are all so proud of you. Earning a college degree is a remarkable, life-changing event. It's the result of thousands and thousands of hours of work and sacrifice along the way. Earning a college degree during a global pandemic, with all the obstacles that have been placed in your way through this crisis, is nothing short of amazing. 
This global pandemic has taken so much from us. There are the big things. There are thousands of people who are not here today. There are thousands of others who have struggled to recover from this awful illness. So many people are dealing with loneliness and isolation, hunger or homelessness due to this crisis. Then there are the smaller losses that most of us have felt. We need to acknowledge those losses as well. Going to college has been different since March. I'm sure your experience this year was not what you had hoped for. And of course, even this commencement is different. Normally, we'd be together in the Taylor Center, thousands of people celebrating with you. I can tell you that everyone at the university feels that loss as well. There's nothing like hearing a family cheer when their first generation graduate's name is called. There's that wonderful moment in the ceremony when our newly commissioned military officer graduates are recognized. There's the recognition of our graduates with special honors. And there's a moment that I always find very emotional when our first generation college graduates stand and are recognized. Believe me, this is not what we wanted for you. But what I do want you to know is that even though we cannot be together, we see you. We care about you, and we are so proud of you. Together, virtually, we honor your accomplishment today. Congratulations, graduates. Congratulations, families and friends. Enjoy your day. And on behalf of the faculty and staff of our great university, we wish you good health and the best of luck in the future. Thank you. And now it's my great honor to introduce Jean Har, the Dean of the College of Education. On behalf of the college, I wish to extend congratulations to our graduates. While we are unable to celebrate with a traditional in-person ceremony, we are nonetheless pleased to be a part of your celebration. Future teachers, aviators, counselors, and leaders, today is a day to celebrate and recognize you. We recognize your scholarly achievements and the self-discipline and sacrifice you have demonstrated as you worked to meet the expectations of your program. Despite the challenges of the past year, you have completed programs that have prepared you to succeed. We are proud of you and we wish you the best. And now I'm honored to introduce Sophia Vanderlee, who will speak on behalf of the College of Education graduates. Sophia is graduating with her Bachelor of Science degree in elementary education. A native of Ham Lake, Minnesota, Sophia looks forward to officially becoming an elementary teacher. Her experiences with Teachers of Tomorrow and as a board member of Education Minnesota have helped shape her experiences at the university and prepared her for her future career. One of Sophia's faculty members, Dr. Lisa Vasquez, describes Sophia as a thoughtful student who learns as much from the students as she does from her peers, faculty, and mentors. She's kind, caring, and considerate of all those around her and wants what's best for students. Sophia does this in a flexible yet critical-minded manner. We now welcome the Fall 2020 College of Education commencement speaker, Sophia Vanderlee. Thank you. Hello, faculty, family, friends, and graduates of the Class of 2020. Welcome to our fall commencement celebration. My name is Sophia Vanderlee, and it is with overwhelming gratitude that I am able to speak to you as we celebrate the accomplishments and futures of our 2020 graduates. Congratulations to all of us, future teachers, leaders, counselors, and aviators. Our track to getting here may have looked a little different for all of us. As different as these routes may have been, there is one constant to each of our educational journeys. That constant being an educator, a teacher who is standing behind us. 
To that point, I want to thank our faculty in the College of Education for their support and all they have contributed to our experiences at Minnesota State University Mankato. To be an educator is so much more than just being a teacher. To be an educator is to be a partner in growth, a coach for our students. To be an educator is to be an ally, a friend, and a role model for our students and the communities around them. To be an educator is to be a small piece in the puzzle that is shaping the minds and the hearts of our future generations. This year has handed us many twists and turns. As we take this next step into the workforce, I think it's more important now than ever to think about ourselves as educators and professionals. How are we growing? How are we helping our students grow? How are we navigating the abnormality that is this year? How are we implementing a little bit of home or normalcy in our classroom or workplace? Now, more than ever, it's important to think about the educators who shaped our lives. Who brought you here? Consider sending them a little love, some appreciation. Without them, your puzzle wouldn't be complete. Congratulations again, College of Education 2020 graduates. We did it. You did it. And I'm so excited to see the way we will all impact the world around us. I know you all will be a piece of somebody's puzzle. Thank you. Molly Hooks. Mackenzie Kadada. Jennifer James. Cassidy Copet.
I have one final message to share as we wrap up your graduation experience. I am optimistic about the future, and that's because of you. I believe that your experiences living through the pandemic have prepared you for the greatness in ways that none of us could have imagined back when you first enrolled at Minnesota State Mankato. I believe that you will be able to bring about change that is needed at the moment. And I thank you in advance for doing just that. Over the years, students have told me about their favorite parts of commencement. For example, when they're asked to turn and thank their family and special friends who have provided support through their college years. They also love the moment during commencement when they are asked to move the tassels on their cap from the right to the left side, signifying their induction into the community of scholars. I ask that you take a moment now, today, to do both of those things. In fact, do them right now if you're able. Whether you are completing an undergraduate degree, a master's degree, or a doctorate, please know that we are all proud to have played a significant role in your journey. Now, as our newest graduates, I ask you to go into this world with your understanding for others and hope for the future. The spirit defines us and joins us together as a Minnesota State University family, as Mavericks. Class of 2020, congratulations.